Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at New Air. This is a product that is on Kickstarter as a crowdfunded campaign. It's being advertised as one of the world's smallest hand dryers that can also work in the home. So instead of being really bulky, it has a much more slim profile and even has covers that you can customize and change to fit the decor of any room. And this thing even has a built-in UVC light. So it's ultraviolet and cleans itself when not in use. Even claims that when it's filtering the air, it will actually reduce 99.9% .9 of dust and impurities. So there's also some sort of filter that can be washed and replaced. So it really will be kind of clean process as you can see there to maintain and uh, it's kind of like a HEPA filter that you would find from a air purifier. Maybe the only thing that it doesn't have would be a companion app. Not that it would be really crucial to something like this but uh, a lot of the other smart home products these days do have a you know, smartphone app that you can also take a look at to see for example how long the filter has been used for. In terms of pricing it's going to sell for around a hundred bucks so I would say it's fair compared to other hand dryers but it's still definitely going to be a slightly higher cost up front compared to using towels or using again paper. It's rated to be IPX1, so splash proof, uh, which is good because it'll be in the bathroom with some water. If it lands on it, it'll be fine. And another interesting thing is in terms of mounting it, if you don't want to use the stand, you can also, again, put it directly on the wall using uh, the second mounting process. But instead of using nails, they actually give you a type of glue that is called liquid nail. So here's the packaging. It is pretty small. The last step in cleaning your hands. And we have some of the specs reiterated again. And then aside from the hand dryer, we also have the aforementioned kind of mounting adapter which is made out of metal as well as uh, where well, you can use either screws or you can use this glue option as well just to kind of stick it on and it will be easier to remove. Uh, the stand by the way doesn't seem to be included in this uh, pre-production unit so the main body is constructed out of polycarbonate plastic but it does feel reasonably sturdy we can see some of the ventilation for the fans that will be pulling in the air and then drying it at the bottom we can also make out the ir sensor there for detecting when your hands are underneath it and finally there is also a safety power on and off switch on the base here as well it's actually pretty lightweight so it can be pretty easily mounted here using that plate um, or just popping it onto the stand and then it's just using a standard kind of input there for the connector. Um, and in terms of the lid, it is going to be removable. So as aforementioned, this part is magnetic, so you can just apply a little bit of pressure. It just pops out like so, and you can replace this with other designs and shells uh, that they will be offering, like the different colors, different textures to fit in the room a little bit better. So magnetic, which is pretty clever, and you can also find access to the kind of filter as well over here. That you can just remove and clean off if it has accumulated a lot of dust. And then of course the UV fans are integrated inside since you don't want it to actually come in contact with your own skin. It will only activate when you are away from the hand dryer. So when it's detecting that no one is close to it, uh, it will try to clean itself using that UV light to kill off any germs and bacteria. Um, and afterwards it will just start to kind of work uh, as usual when you put your hands underneath again. Let's take a closer look at a demo next. So some takeaways there is overall it does work quite well in terms of it did dry my hands and the advertised under 15 seconds or so and it wasn't too irritating either. My hands still felt comfortable afterwards and the detection is good. In terms of if you're nearby, it turns on. It doesn't really have too much false alarms. In terms of noise, as we saw in that test, it is going to be, of course, something to keep in mind. So it's obviously not going to be as quiet as drying your hands on a towel, for example, but it's not too disturbing either, I would say. It certainly isn't going to be much louder than a vacuum, for example, uh, or just having a fan kind of in the background. It certainly is one of the sleekest and most portable hand dryers that I've seen. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the New Air Super Portable Household Hand Dryer.